I picked the wrong two hours to land in Tokyo. Steve Kearns was headed home to Norfolk from South Korea when a quick layover in Japan shook up his plans. And all of a sudden, the ground started to shake, just a little bit at first. It got worse and worse to the point where we had to jump up. I stood in the middle of the room, and it shook for about two, two and a half minutes. The airport just outside of Tokyo came to a standstill as the earthquake rattled travelers. If you're in an airplane and you're going through some rough air, the whole plane shakes and you think, when is this going to end? Imagine that standing in a room and knowing that it doesn't matter where you go, there's nowhere safe to go. As his departure time came and went, airport personnel shuffled passengers outside for safety. I saw one particular woman who was sitting by herself with a coat over her. Um, I was able to get someone to give her some attention. They got her a blanket and a, and a wheeled chair. Then back inside with some snacks and instructions. Prepare to stay overnight. The roads were closed. The trains were down. No one was going anywhere. Two hours stretched to four, then eight. Kearns capture the faces of local people reacting to their country's devastation. By hour 10, some good news. My plane, United 898, was one of three planes that were allowed to leave the airport. And I'll tell you what, when that plane took off, there was clapping. Celebrating a safe way home and a rare chance to witness history. I feel very lucky. I got to witness something that may be historic. No one in my immediate area was hurt but I'm completely aware of just how devastating it was out for so many others.